The story of the American West is rich and textured from the people to the intricate threads of generations that make up the fabric of America. It really is fascinating stuff. And Reed Lance Rosenthal knows this all too well. He is fourth generation land and cattle with a cowboy's heart and a poet's pen. He has woven a wonderful, rich American story called Threads West and American Saga. Reed joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Morning to you, Reed. Good to see you. Thanks for that introduction, Dan Danielle. It's great to be here. I'm glad that you're with us. With a cowboy heart and a poet's pen. Now those are your words, my friend, and they describe you perfectly. Tell me about your background. You know, uh, my great-grandfather was one of Germany's largest cattle ranchers. My grandfather followed in his footsteps. My dad was pushing cows in a little village in Germany when he was four years old to the local market. Hmm. Came over when Hitler came to power <clears throat> and uh, was into agriculture and other businesses all around the United States. And uh, I bought my first ranch when I was 19 in Colorado. That's funny. Now, you are, you know, fourth generation land and cattle. You're also a writer, which, you know, when you look at you, you know, you look great. <laughs> writer probably isn't the first thing I would think. Tell me about Threads West American Saga, because is any of this based upon your own family? Is it based upon your background? Well, you know, Threads West and American Saga, Threads West is the namesake of the first of six books in the series. Okay. And we released it in October. Been a gangbusters, number one bestseller. It's been terrific. I've been pleasantly stunned. But the book itself uh, is an unusual Western. You know, it begins in Europe, and seven of the first eight characters begin in Europe, and the uncommon life threads of those characters kind of weave together uh, to form the tapestry of an emerging nation. Mm. So the, the book itself is, uh, shall we say, a mixture of Western, historical, and romance. Nice, and I want to talk to you about the romance because it is adventure and romance, in your words, wrapped in a silver bolo of the American spirit. Why did you choose romance? You know, romance is, uh, romance and the land, I think, are the two primal forces on the planet. Uh, even folks who don't realize it are touched by the uh, ceaseless current of energy from the land, and it's timeless. Mm -hmm. And everybody is touched by romance. It is a universal power. I think when you combine the energy of the lands, which is what the West is about, and you combine the universal nature of uh, the tug and pull of romance, sure. both good and bad, uh, then you, and you combine it with a great story and you weave in history, I think you have a tale that people want to read. And you've managed to do that so successfully in this book. You also say this book is an unusual Western, and it's also an unusual romance. How so? Well, you know, it's an unusual romance, and it's an unusual Western, number one, because of its origins, okay, the uncommon life threads that begin in Europe. But number two, I think it's unusual in that, uh, you know, it's kind of a sophisticated read. It there, is, it, it, you're it's, right. It, it's real personalities. I mean, this is not your six foot six guy who says yup and nope and can't do anything wrong. These people have flaws, they have inner and outer conflicts. So I've tried to make uh, these, these characters and many readers identify with various characters because the personalities are real. And therefore the romantic interludes are also real. Well, nothing wrong with six foot six, let me just say that for the record. But one of the things you also say is this book is more than just historical. You say it's a personality study. Ex explain this. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, the personalities are all person. They're real personalities. I mean, these are people that I've met. Albe also, these are people that you've met along your life's path. Well, well these are personalities that mm -hmm. I've met. I mean, mm -hmm. these people in the book are characters from 1855. Mm -hmm. But these are real personalities that I've dealt with, watched, interacted with. And... Uh, you know, the book is both a mirror and a portal, okay? The portal, these, these personalities have been transported into these fictional characters 170 years ago. And they'll transpose themselves over four generations, over, you know, 170 years that the six books covers to the real-time contemporary West. The bottom line, though, is that these personalities, uh, there is nobody, I don't think, that you can't relate to as a reader in this book by saying, I know him. I know her, and that's what I was trying to accomplish. Well, I think it's fascinating that this is really an epic saga, in your words. It's one of six books over several generations. We're talking about 38 primary characters. It's a project. It's a project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a project. Wow. Tell me more about that. Well, you know, the book starts in 1855. You know, it's a, it's a magical year in American history. America is uh, on the cusp of greatness, doesn't know it. Uh, it's a few years before the outbreak of the Civil War. 
<clears throat> all sorts of things are happening in history at that time. I didn't realize how many, in fact, until I started doing the research on it. And it leaps forward over the six books into the real-time contemporary West, <clears throat> where the last book is set literally 2010 real-time Rocky Mountains. And over that course, four generations, which of course come from the vanguard of characters in the first book, evolve and suffer their duplicity and their passions and their triumphs and their failures and their lives and their deaths. Very interesting. I have to tell you, very engaging book. You captured my attention with it. Well, thank you. So thank you, Reed. I appreciate you being with us on the show this morning. My pleasure. And once again, the book is called Threads West and American Saga. For more information on Reed or the book, please visit his website at reedlrosenthal.com and threadswestamericansaga.com.